Well, the Boston Celtics can take one of two in Los Angeles the way they did the first two games. Boston will have won its 18th NBA title. This is about as good as it gets. Turns his back, couple of dribbles, baseline. Oh, my. That, that's got drizzle coming off of it. It was so nice. If anybody can tell me what I just said, they're smarter than I am. Baseball purists had to love it. The problem is we live in America. It's a microwave society. If we can't get it now, we don't want it. And if you're wondering if the coaches like this move, all you've got to do is watch Southeastern football coach Ray Richards because what he doesn't say says more than what he actually says. I had to pick the wiener dog up, carry him all the way home. I thought I was going to have to give him mouth to snout resuscitation. I thought about Alan Mitchell. Meanwhile, they play in Florida tonight. A little interleague action with C.J. Wilson of the mound for Texas. There's Josh Hamilton extending his hitting streak to 11 games. Rangers up 1-0. Wilson getting a little help from his defense. A 4-6-3 double dipper. Well, why don't you just introduce the seven-day for one look at it? They might not get that team after all. How bitter will Nolan be if he doesn't get it? Can he in good faith really stay on as team president? Finish it up. <laughs> We're clear and dry. Boy, that high pressure is set in. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Alan. Talk shows today. People calling and talking about how boring that game was last night. Steroids are out. Pitching and defense, they're in. Who won the game? Well, nobody. They tied with Slovakia. See? <laughs> we'll be right back. Well, have you seen those commercials where the pop singer says, hey, it's great to be in Chicago, and he's actually in San Francisco? And then the announcer says, want to get away? Well, that's the type of moment that Joe Girardi had today. And you know you've got money problems when you got to sell something and you have to have permission to sell something you actually own? That's Tom Hicks right now in a nutshell. And I asked SOSU President Larry Minx if they would have made the move if the nation's economy were better and economic projections were a little bit better. Now, recruiting will be more difficult for southeastern Oklahoma State. Make no mistake about that. That's part of the big white elephant in the room. But when you talk recruiting athletes, SOSU football coach Ray Richards says it starts with this. Father's Day is Sunday. Hmm. You're a dad. Yeah, you a man yeah. Can? I, I need some man cans. <laughs> <laughs> I may have some man cans, come to think of it. <laughs> You'll get a nice little card from your kids, won't you? Nice. Yes, I will. Yes, you I will. will. I will indeed. Can't turn him loose with anything. Goodbye.